It's Sharon, it's Tammy, and it's Beatrice, and welcome to another episode of the Uncut Podcast, period. period. For those of you who might have, I don't know where the heck you've been, whether you've not been on socials, whether you missed our first episode, Mm -hmm. but this is the second episode of us relaunching slash launching our baby, the Uncut Podcast. We've said bye-bye to BTS. If you're wondering, hey, I thought you guys were BTS podcast, where the heck have you gone? We changed our name now. So welcome to the Uncut Podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. If you guys want to know why we changed our name and everything like that, go ahead and go back to watch the episode that we dropped last week, Monday. And if you aren't aware, because maybe you might have missed that episode, we don't only just drop episodes on the Monday, but we now have episodes dropping on Wednesday on Patreon for our real lovers, our real supporters. Um, So yeah, make sure you guys go ahead over to Patreon, find us there, the Uncut Podcast, and just give us a mere £3.99. And you guys will see, first of all... A month. Uh, £3.99 a month. <laughs> yeah, a month. And no, Before shoot. they think it's just Before they just think it's £3.99. That's it. Not, no, 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 no. £3.99 a month. But you guys will see we have uploaded some previous content. Good, like four good episodes. You would have seen literally like five now by this by this time. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys head over there and catch up. Because boy, there's going to be some real good tea on Patreon. Um, cool. Yeah, also, man. make sure you guys are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Yeah. We are almost at 70,000 subscribers. Who knows? You might have already hit it. Yeah. I don't man. know. Yeah, I can't Amen. see the future. So make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. That is the Uncut Podcast. And also make sure you click that notification bell so you can keep up to date with all of our activity and all of our content so you don't miss a thing. Also, Make sure you are following us across all of our socials. That is Instagram. That is Twitter mm-hmm. slash X. That is Snapchat. And that is TikTok. We are all active on all those all those platforms. Mm-hmm. So make sure you are uh following us on all of the, on all of there as well. And if you are listening on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, make sure you are giving us a five what? Five star review. A five what? Five star review. Because we do not take four, three, two, one. We only mm-hmm. take five stars. That's so right. make sure you leave us a five star rating. And if you're on Spotify, they're going to ask you, what do you think about this episode? Ah, well, even though it's the start, you can still say, we're loving the podcast. We're mm-hmm. loving this show. Mm-hmm. And also make sure you are answering the poll on Spotify as well. Uh, it's going to ask you something about the episode and just let's hear your opinions. Let's engage. Let's yes, see what's so. going on. Yeah. You, this is this might be a podcast, but it's really a conversation. I yep. want to know what you guys are thinking, what you guys are feeling. Mm-hmm. But yeah, make sure you're doing all those things so we can keep the lights on. Yeah. Thank you. Damn <laughs> right. <laughs> cool. So I am going to, huh? like I said before in the previous episode, this new name isn't just coming with small queer queer black <laughs> black card and pink logo. Okay, there, <laughs> there is more to this stuff because I am so excited to announce. Come on, girl! I'm so excited to announce for our people that have been riding with us, asking us, "When are we gonna see you guys? When are we gonna see you guys? When, when are we gonna, gonna touch you? you? When are we gonna spit on you?" Uh, okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they never asked us. They never oh, asked us that, boy. My DMs, yeah. <laughs> But yes, guys, we are happy to announce that we have our first official live show happening. You people are not clapping. Yeah, I see you, man. You're standing there. You're not clapping. Okay, not clapping. I'm crying, but this is going to be our first live event of the year. We are super, super excited, super Grateful to have Our this first opportunity, live show ever. literally ever. For the year, ever. But obviously, because yeah. we've done a little bit of an opening, some people ah, were no, like, no, 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 that wasn't nice. That was nice, man. That you know we just mean? did a pre, yeah, pre, pre something, pre Boy. little something. Do you know what I mean? That was five minutes on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying, but yeah, now we are going to have our first live event of the year, and it will be taking place 
on Tuesday, the 21st of May. 2024. Hmm. Guy is lurking, oh. It's <laughs> round the corner. We didn't say we're going to leave you hanging for months. This is a matter of weeks. Hmm, this is not Asha, boy. This is not no Asha. Sam? No, it's facts, man. But yeah, guys, it's going to be a good, good show. The doors are going to lightly open around 7 p.m. So it's going to be after work for our people that are working it up in the city. So you can definitely come down and see us. But yeah, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be intimate. You're going to be basically touching us. Like Tammy said, you're going to be face to face with us. Um, but it's going to be such a good one. We're super excited. I know we're going to have some good topics, good dilemmas, good um, segments ready to talk with you guys. It's gonna be worth it. So, and it's gonna be taking place at Islington yes. Assembly Hall, so yes. in London. Don't worry, guys. The people that live outside of the UK will come mm. for you at some point. Soon. Do you know what? I just have a feeling that someone will just fly down. Don't kill me. <laughs> someone will just fly, fly down, down and surprise us and give us accent. <laughs> I'm crying. Not give us. That accent. would be amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we- <laughs> We can't wait to meet you guys in person. Yeah. It's like nice to obviously speak to you guys on like socials yeah. and stuff, but we cannot wait to see you guys, to hug you guys, to be in the flesh. Um, mm. But yeah, make sure you get your tickets. Obviously, if you're on Patreon, you're getting early access. Tickets are available right now. Yep. So you can pick up your tickets straight away. And then for everyone else, general release. Gen pop. <laughs> general release is taking place on Wednesday of this week. Yeah, so, yeah, so like the girl said, we are having our first ever live show. It is being hosted by the podcast show, yeah. which is the, the podcast big event big. to be in. Can. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, so if you're not there, are you square? No, nah, facts. Your triangle, bro. Bro, in fact, you're a circle, bro. In fact, hmm. so make sure you guys get your tickets. Come out, support us. See what we're doing. What we're doing this small room here. Hmm. Come and see us on the stage. Hmm. This is a way to interact. We love seeing people. We yeah. love, like you said, we like. Touching, hugging. Mm. COVID is over. Kissing mm. and love. Ah, <laughs> please, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But mm-hmm. yeah, the ticket, actually, yes, the ticket link will be in the description box. Yes. But if you're not on Patreon, you won't be able to access it until Wednesday. Until Wednesday, yo. Oh. Mm. But yeah, like we said, if you want early access, please head over this. Please head over on <laughs> to Patreon, pay your $3.99 a month, and you know, get the tickets. And yeah. Yeah, we'll see you guys on the 21st of May. Yeah. Yes. Woo. Cool. Sorry, what's next? <laughs> it was okay, it how are you? How was your okay. week? How was your week? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, my week was fine. Mm-hmm. Um, we are heading, the three of us plus our friends as well, we're heading to Marbella. But we'd have been, we'd have been back by the time. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's we'd true. Been back. We'd been back by the time, but... As of today, we're heading next week. So just been prepping for yep. that. I have so much work to do before I can even see any kind of airport. Mm. Hey! Mm, it's a lot. It's, well, <laughs> it's a lot, man. But yeah, my week has been okay. What about you? Um, My week has been... Tiring. Mm. Mm. I went into work like two days in a row. The first day I didn't actually have to go in, mm. which which is annoying. You know when you go in and you're just like, I actually don't need to be here. Mm. But um, I don't know. It was a nice. It was a nice. The weather was good, mm. so it didn't make it like that bad. It started getting light at six pm. Yeah. So it's always nice to not have to walk home in the dark. Mm. Um. Yeah, I'm still recovering. I'm still a bit ill, but other than that, yeah, I'm all right. Nice. How about you. I can't remember this week, child, but I'm alive. <laughs> That's all I can say. I don't know. I think it's just been one of them. One of them normal weeks, child. We keep on pushing. We keep on grinding. Subscribe to Patreon and, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll, I'll be feeling a little bit better. This girl, she's not serious, man. It's facts. She's not right. serious. It's facts. Anyway, guys, we're now on to Hot Gist. So Hot Gist is a new segment, newish segment, where we just kind of just talk about Anything that we've seen on Twitter, on social mm. media, mm. or anything like that. So, I saw this question, yeah, and I just want to, oh, I just want to hear you guys' answer. Mm. You're offered, let me put this in pounds, 100 million pounds. 100 million. 100 million pounds. I'm taking it. I was going to say, there's very few <laughs> things I can't do for 100 million pounds. Of. Okay, wait. Um, you're offered 100 million pounds. Mm. 
to watch your whole life on TV with your entire family, will you do it? When you say whole, your whole life, <laughs> day by I'm day. Doing it, man. The whole, I'm man. doing it, man. You do it. I'm doing it, man. <laughs> we've all, we've all, we've all. We're... Yeah, they'll forgive me, Jerry. Oh, bro, no, when, no, I, when, I, when I slap them with a 20 mil, man. <laughs> 20. Yeah, they can have five, man. <laughs> 20 each. You're left with 20 for yourself there. Or uh, 40 for yourself. Uh, you can't, you can't yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. Uh, uh, it's true. Nah, me, I'm not. They're not getting 20, but okay. yeah, I, I will ask for forgiveness. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, I, I was just thinking like, would you? Your whole life. No. You wouldn't. For 100 million. Yeah. My whole life. God already knows it anyway. Yeah, literally, bro. It's only just like a joke. Who's man? No, no. 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 Man. I've already knows. prayed and asked for forgiveness. Yeah, He's man. forgiven me. He died on Facts. the cross. Easter. Because 100, mil, 100 mil is a lot. Of life 100 mil. I actually, uh, y'all can do this podcast on your own. What? <laughs> See you. No, <laughs> 100 mil is a lot. Heck? It's a lot. 100 mil. Life. Yeah, man, I'll do that. For sure. Please, my just my immediate family. Just hoping my parents will fall asleep in... <laughs> My point is, in, it, in, the segment we, where, in the segment where I'm reading my books. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, legit. What was I going to say? You just put a little bit of antihistamine in their teeth. You're sick. <laughs> no, you're drugging your parents, child. <laughs> that's so, so But funny. yeah, that's all I had, to be honest. I just wanted to hear what you guys would think. Mm. I just saw the question. I was what like, were people this is... saying? Oh, did you see Sorry, this? I just it was from... Um, I saw it on TikTok. And oh. I, just put, I just screenshot it. Yeah. So I actually saw something which is completely like not... Like gisty, but it was just something mm-hmm. I saw on social clips. So I feel like you guys said when you went to the um live, sh- not live show, the sh- the viewing, you saw bricks, bricks with yeah, yeah, them, yeah. bricks yeah. with tips, right? Yeah. So for people who don't know, one sec, the mm. you know the lady that said that she had to park her car because she was laughing so much. Oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So if you don't know, bricks and tips, they like they have a social um. Like account and following on Instagram because they basically like educate and people YouTube. and on YouTube. Um, yeah, they haven't posted in the world of oh, okay, YouTube. Okay. I could be wrong. Um, but I think it's Tayo and Antoinette. That's their name. They're a couple, and they yeah run a social account which basically like educates people on like how to get onto the property ladder, yeah, finances, all that sort of thing. Yeah, 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 and I've been following them for time. So yeah, for me, same. I actually like. Used a lot of their, Use their tips, tips. <laughs> um, to even get like on the property ladder myself. So I thought, yeah, they're proper good. I want to big them up. But there's this show on TikTok. It's a podcast. I think it's called like It Can't Come Out. But you used to see their clips where it was like the one where you see like a, I don't want to say who was on the show, mm. but where there's like a red sofa and there was a guy and he was talking about his time in jail. You guys know who exactly oh, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Anyway, he has a show, a podcast um, that he like just puts a lot of social. I've not actually watched the full podcast. Anyway. As in the guy that actually has the podcast. What? No, we don't know the guy. That has, we had no one. But you guess. know. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. So um, anyway, I was just like on my TikTok and I was crying because Tayo, who's from this Bricks and Tits, was a guest on the show. Okay. <laughs> the clips were so. Funny. He was talking about, and people might not even find it funny, but I just was like, this is hilarious. So he was talking about like how um he like work and how these environment is at work. And I think he used to work at JP Morgan, then he went to HSBC, okay. all that sort of stuff, right? And basically he was like talking about imposter syndrome. Mm. And he was just talking about the fact that like um, you know, everyone talks about imposter syndrome and um, you know, he also like didn't really know what he was doing and stuff, and like mm-hmm. he was also doubt himself, but he was like, bro. Let me not even lie to you. I was an imposter because I did not know anything. Every single time someone would ask me a question, I'll just go and message someone else like, well, how do you do this thing? No. How do you do that thing? He was like, nah, guys, I was an actual imposter. But the one that killed me the most, Champ. yeah. Oh my God. So he said this situation where he was like in his team and basically like, he followed someone from a previous job in like into a new company. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that person got promoted and he ended up taking that person's job. That person was like quite senior in the team. So he was basically like quite senior very quickly mm-hmm. um, when he got into the company. Um, but anyway, so like I said, he said, he's basically like, I'm an imposter. I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. Like I'm just basically like- Again? Just, yeah. Oh. But then he was like, but however, there was one opportunity that he saw, which was- the data they were using in the company was not like organized properly. And they were like, having a lot of reports that didn't like 
um, it wasn't really like clear in terms of having like the right graphs. Like, you know, when you have a dashboard, yeah. you want to see graphs to see like trends and stuff rather than looking at like tables. Yeah. So he was basically like, oh, I can do something here. He was like, bro, the only formula that he used in that whole thing was V look up. <laughs> <laughs> He created something, right? And he gave it to th- this um person that's above him. Yeah. That person ended up taking it into like direct senior, senior meetings in America. Really? And all wow. that sort of thing. And like people were just like, ah. But then the people that what he was presenting to was asking him questions about the dashboard that he didn't know about. So he was like, I need to bring Tayo with me so that he can answer the questions on this dashboard. Mm. He was like, that's how he ended up being in meetings with people that he had no business being in the <laughs> meeting with them. But he was like, it was a simple V lookup and uh, one mm-hmm. pivot table that he set up. <laughs> Not the one. <laughs> hey, basically saving lives, nah, man. Nah, boy. <laughs> but so that basically enabled him to get into the room. And he was like, now, like, those senior people call him by name. Like, people were just so shocked that, like, he had, like, such a big impact. He was like, mm-hmm. it's so crazy how, like, with work and stuff, like, Yes, you'd be an impossible, but just be one small task that you would do that. Yeah, some people man. would just be like, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, that episode, you guys should go and watch it. It might not sound funny, but it was so, so... <laughs> no, it might after, not sound funny. After she's just explained no, it for like five No, minutes. no, but it might not sound funny, but it, the episode was so good. And he gave such good tips as well um, about him, like start up his company and him and his wife working together and the dynamics of building something big with your wife. It was really, really good. So mm. I'll definitely check, um, I definitely want to advise people to go and check it out because... Yeah. Some some of the th- at work, some of the like things that have the most impact are literally the smallest things. Yeah, because yeah. stuff like that, just no, like I'm sure somebody could have done it, but yeah. just no one had the time to sit time. there yeah. and yeah. sort through the data yeah. and make it like easily easier to digest. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so people actually appreciate, especially in this case where you don't know what you're doing. At least do what you know you can do. Yeah, facts, you know I mean? facts, exactly. Um, no, yeah, so that's funny. jokes. Yeah, that's jokes. For real. Hi, imposter syndrome chair. Bro, he's like, I was an actual imposter fan. Nah, <laughs> you know the ones where this is this, this ain't, ain't no it. syndrome. Yeah, you. I, I, I'm the imposter. imposter. <laughs> I have no business being in this role. Hey. You know, people be. I don't know how people feel so confident to like. Obviously, you can like um, fabricate slash ex- not not fabricate. You can exaggerate on your CV mm. rather than saying you led when you were just there. Yeah, doing yeah, one, yeah, yeah, one yeah. part participating. Yeah, participating. You say you led. led. Yeah. Okay, but at least you know what was going on, so you yeah, can still yeah, talk about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. When people start lying about, I've got this coding experience. Oh. Got, I know how to speak several somebody languages. Said, somebody said one time, yeah, that he put on his CV. You know at the bottom, yeah? Where you just talk skills. about your skills and hobbies. He said that he can play grade eight uh, piano. Then there must have been one offsite, yeah? There was a grand piano. How can this manage? <laughs> I just remembered. Give us a tune. His manager, his manager, Give us a told, him, his manager told him to play. <laughs> he said... He said he went to his car, yeah, started YouTubing um, <laughs> quickest and least painful way to break your fingers. <laughs> break your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> See, go back and be like, so my fingers are broken. Are you joking? That <laughs> is so... <laughs> nah, please. Oi, that is hilarious. I didn't even have grade one. What? Oh. oh, I know what's so funny. In my workplace, yeah, like they actually value languages a lot. Mm. Like, I'm telling you, yeah, same actually. If you can speak a language, they, they, they're working. I feel sorry for those people because they'd be working them extra hard to yeah, digest yeah. all content that, they, that comes in, to translate, you know, documents, all that sort of thing. Mm hmm. I'm just thinking, imagine someone just lied. Mm, yeah, just small, 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 oh, yeah, I understand French. Mandarin, ah. you're yeah, crying. You're scared, you're man. Yeah, man, I don't know who's stretching it that far. Bro. But, yeah, I'm crying. But yeah, I can just imagine someone coming to me and saying, ah, yeah, you mentioned you do French. Can you uh, translate this? Doc? Eh? <laughs> me, I'm going straight to Jackie BT, bro. Legit. <laughs> 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 hey. I've been googling stuff at work though that I don't know the answer. Obviously, to. bro, ChatGPT is actually my friend. Oh yeah, yeah. No, now I use Google that. Google ChatGPT. I, I, I probably use that like every hour. I u- oh, Even, every hour. Yeah. Okay. Every I hour. use it. I use yeah. it every day for sure. Hundred percent. I use it all the time. I even use it. When you I have a plugin, don't you? Yeah, I have a plugin. But also, like for example, if I want to just write an email, I, just, oh, I want to. I just like say write an email for me, like and tell it what we need to do. And then just... I literally do it. 
I use it so often. So often, man. It's Even so like things I don't know, like I will ask yeah. ChatGPT instead of Google. Summarize, it will, explain. Yeah, or, yeah. It will explain each individual thing and then create a summary and then tell you the differences between the two things. Yeah, man, it's lit. I need to start using it more. Yeah. I think I've only used it twice. No, I huh? use it no. for sure. Like any small task as right. well. Like, I don't it saves even time. Anymore. It's already there. Yeah, so it saves time. Like I said, like drafting an email response, like, if you just don't want to think about how to phrase it, you know how sometimes, yeah, you sometimes be, like, you've, mm. your head would just be... Mm-hmm. I do that all the time. I literally will just write it as I... As I think it, yeah, and then I'll just make it and make it sound better. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. Slip, man. No, nah, yeah, I'll man. definitely be, be using it to. Don't mm. be working yourself too hard. No, no honestly, that's oh, how I'm smart. That's I'm not hard. Other like, people be using that and be excelling. And be excelling. So yeah, yeah, and they'll be pretending or like chat, it was their chat, own. Chat, yes. Yeah, yeah, man. AI is scary. I can't lie. <laughs> AI is the future, baby. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, on to the dilemma. Basically, this dilemma was sent. I wouldn't say out of um hmm. basically we put something on our story a while ago and um she must have replied and said um that uh her ex still her her current boyfriend I don't know if it was her current boyfriend or her ex her emails or something no no like he still he okay her boyfriend still have pic still has pictures of his ex on his on Instagram, his Instagram. Mm. Mm. So I was like, oh my God, like how? And then she then went on oh, to okay, send okay, a dilemma in the in the DMs. Mm. So cool. My boyfriend and I initially met on a dating app two years ago. We hit it off immediately and very quickly entered a honeymoon phase from the jump. After a few, few months, he suddenly broke it off, telling me that he's not ready for a relationship. I was shocked and completely caught off guard. After some time, we remained friends and began hanging out pretty frequently. Though this hurt me, I felt at the time that having him in my life in some capacity was better than not at all. So I continued to be his friends, even though my feelings never went away. Era number one. Exactly. Around a year into this friendship, we began hooking up here and there. And that's why some female friends are dodgy. They weren't even friends in the beginning. Sure. Begin with Jeff. That's how we'll be yeah. disguising it someone else. <laughs> yeah, we begin we began hooking up here and there. Ah. Hanging out one on one and all of it just seemed pretty much the same as when we were dating in the beginning. Ah. I began to feel very confused by these mixed signals as they were seeing as we were seeing each other very often. Mm. He was texting me every day, but then would also be seeing other girls and I would see notifications from dating apps. Come up on his phone when we were together. Those aren't mixed sig- signals, by the way. Apparently, are they not? No. Like, if you've already set pace in the beginning and you guys know what it is, but it's like let's just be friends, and then all of a sudden, like you're like, oh, still like, uh, what's it like getting together every now and then and like speaking and stuff. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're seeing each other until unless you've had a conversation. Because mm. if he's had, if the only conversation he's he's had with you is to break things off. In my view, it's not mixed signals if he continues to talk to other people, even if you guys are getting together, because you would need to have another conversation to reinstate what was there before, in my view. First. Uh, yeah. So see notifications from dating apps coming coming up on his phone when we were together. Again, I held it in and buried my feelings and only letting it out to my close friends who constantly told me to forget him and move on. Mm. But I couldn't move on because I knew he was the one I wanted to be with. (sighs) Eventually, two years down the line, I asked him once again, what... Two years? That's when she's starting... That's when she now decided to ask. I think they had one year of friendship and then maybe another year. So Mm. two years after they'd initially broken up. (laughs) Okay, carry on. So yeah, eventually two years down the line, I asked him once again, what this was and where it was going. He told me that everything seems perfect about me. My looks, my personalities, my interests, my compatibility with his family and friends, etc. But something just doesn't feel right about us being together. And that does and that he doesn't see himself dating me. I was absolutely devastated and finally stood up for myself. And cut it off with him completely. After a few months, we ran into each other at a gallery opening, and he was completely beside himself and in his own head. He asked me to meet him on a later date and confessed that he was wrong 
and he could not be without me. I took him back and we have been dating ever since. Though, in my opinion, we had been in a relationship for the past two years, (laughs) he just couldn't admit it to me himself. Now we are officially together, but he still never posts me on his page. And obviously, I think he still has his ex Mm. on his page. And sometimes only on his story. And when I told him that I love him, he told me he just doesn't know yet. And it takes time to decide if he loves me because we are still in the evaluation phase of our relationship. (laughs) Evaluation phase. Hey, if that guy can't say he loves you after two years of friendship. Bro, I'm starting to regret my decision to take Ah. him back. And also feeling like I let myself down after finally standing up for myself. I can't help how I feel and I will always feel for him. But I think I deserve better. I would agree with that. Mm. I think she answered her own dilemma there. She did. Sis, you deserve better. Mm. First of all, the first red flag was when you even messaged saying, my boyfriend still has pictures of his ex on his Instagram page. Mm. What? Mm. (laughs) Remove. Mm. Especially, it's different if they're not together. Like, you guys are... It's different if the people that were in the relationship are not with another person. But if you're with another person and your ex is still on your page... Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Mm. Secondly, all this up and down, top and turn, one minute together, one minute friendship, hooking up here or there. Like, you already know the answer to this dilemma. Mm. After two years, you're still in evaluation phase. Did she say how old she is? No, she didn't. Okay. But judging by her Instagram, she seems quite long, like in her 20s. Mm. Like, like young, to early 20s? Like, maybe like mid, mm. mid 20s. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I think you definitely <coughs> need to abort mission on this one. Mm. I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I just, I would have agreed with your friends as well that said that you should have. I know that it's obviously these things are easier said than done. Yeah. But I definitely feel like, like when somebody tells you who, um, shows you who they are and tells you what they want, like believe them the first time. Mm-hmm. Do you, know, you don't have to, um, bully isn't the right word, but like bully him into giving you the answer that he wants because then it's not the right, it's not the true answer. It's just what he knows you want to hear. Mm. That makes sense. Mm. Um. Also, I would never like take, you know, like sometimes like if you've ended things with a guy and then he sees you after a long time and all of a sudden, oh, I miss you, I miss you. It's Bro. a lie. It's a lie. Yeah, you never Bro. did. No. They're just infatu- even if infatuated with what just you It's just infatuation. Like yeah. And also it's just like a, they're just, they're just being reminded of like the times you guys, ha- guys had in the past. Like it's mm-hmm. not got anything in my view or in my experience anyway, it's not got anything to do with like, oh yeah, this is the one that I've always wanted and da, 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 da. And also, I don't know, a part of me when I was listening to that d- dilemma thinks that he's probably s- still low-key like speaking to other people. Defo. Because, mm-hmm. what do you mean evaluation phase? Yeah, what are you evaluating me against? What does that mean? That mm-hmm. means you're not, con- you're not, um, you're not, not sure in your decision. Yeah, you're not locked in. Yeah, man. That guy's got a wandering eye, fam. Mm. Bro. Facts. Anyway. Bro, I said it all, child. Yeah. Can't lie. That's where we... Me, if I, keep, if I start talking now, I won't stop. Please talk. No, nah, I'm just saying the fact that it's basically what Sharon said, like, please, I beg, this one is just... um. Yeah. It's giving you all the signs. Like, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, Don't beat yourself him. up about it. Sometimes we... You get lost in the sauce, child. Like, yeah. Just pack, yeah. Just pack your load and be going. Yeah. And I think us as women, like, when we see someone that we like or we're in love with, we try to paint this picture that, oh, maybe one day he'll come around. Mm-hmm. I just need to wait <clears throat> it out. Ladies in waiting. He'll love me if I, you know. Or, like, once he's finished doing everything that he wants to do, eventually <laughs> he'll still come back to me. No. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, probably. But you shouldn't be someone's, like... Plan A, uh, yeah, plan, plan B, C, and Z. D. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After mm. he's done all what he wants to do and done mm. this and done that, and now you're just there patiently waiting for him. I think we even said one time on one um episode that women will be waiting, will sit outside on the porch, 
waiting mm. for. Oh, mm. everybody will be passing by. Oh, what are you doing? Mm. Oh, I'm just here. Wait, you'll be in your rocking chair. Oh, I'm just here waiting for, you know, mm. so and so to come back around. Mm. And life will just be passing, passing you by. by. Mm. You said two two years or that's how many years? Time. Like, that's a long time for someone to now come and say that you're in an evaluation stage. What does that even mean? Or mm. phase. Mm. So, fa- you know, phases, they, mm. they're not forever. Mm. Mm. So after the evaluation phase is over, what's the next phase? Nah. Dumping phase. Mm. Crying phase. Mm, We've perhaps. all been there. And for him to say you're perfect, but something yeah. doesn't seem right about you being together. There's something He's just off. trying to let you down uh, lightly. Mm. Yeah. He doesn't believe what he's even saying himself. Yeah. Please. He's still... Men do this thing where they still want you around, but they still want to, you know... They want one foot in and one foot out. Mm. Don't let you... Don't let that foot that he's... That he's stepping or wherever he is, don't let you be be under the foot. Mm. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Though. <laughs> mm. But yeah. Anyway, we're moving on to song of the week. Yes, yes, yes. As okay. you guys know, we always do a song of the week. Well, it's not really song of the week. It's songs mm. with the <laughs> plural because we can never just seem to add one. Mm. This month is the month of hip hop slash rap. That could be UK rap. Mm. That could be US. Could be Sri Lankan rap. Whichever type of rap you want, we're adding it to this playlist. Mm. Uh, girls, what are we adding to the playlist? Before they add, let me just say, the playlist is available on Spotify mm-hmm. and Apple Music and also on YouTube because we know some people don't like to pay. But that money that you're even using that you could be using for Spotify, <laughs> come to Patreon mm. and make sure you're spending that three ninety nine on us. Yeah, anyway, facts. what are we adding to the playlist? Which one are you going? You go first. I need to still think. Okay, so last week I added my favorite track, mm-hmm. the track mm-hmm. that makes me cry, chow. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna keep up with that sort of vibe, mm-hmm. but not the crying vibe. I just mean you know the group of artists. So I'm gonna do a little Wayne and Millie. I feel like that's a classic. Classic. That's one that just has to go in there. Like, there's no way you're talking about hip hop and you're not putting that hip hop and rap. You're not putting that track. In the playlist So that one's going in there Another one I'm also going to add Is 21 Questions 50 Cent Featuring Ooh. Nate Dogg You already know yes. That's a lit, lit Did you see one. Money Long's um, Version Yeah I did that. No yeah. I haven't seen it yeah. Is it new? Is no, she just did a, it on like a show You know those radio like, shows Yeah Oh mm, okay mm, Let's check it out mm. And I'm just trying to think about The last one I want to add Um I'm going to add, let me think. Sorry, guys. Let me think, 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 think. Okay, I'll just do this one. Um, Because, yeah. I'm just going to do Living It Up, Jar Rule featuring Case. Nice. Do I do? And am I going to be living it up? Say what mm-hmm. I do? It's a cheap, man. It's a solid one. Go ahead, Sean. Um, oh, I had one in my head and now I've forgotten it. No rap from your favorite artist. You go. Let me figure it out. Cool. The first song I'm adding is the Block Europe Bando in the Sat Nav. Mm. That's a really good yeah. song. I love I that song. The other song I am adding is, oh, sorry, where is it? Is Remy Ma Conceited. Remy Ma. I haven't heard that song in a while. I'm Conceited. To defend this. And I look too good mm, to be mm, one of mm, those. Mm, 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 sorry, yeah, I do. Song. Yeah. Oh, and the last song I'm going to add is The Game and 50 Cent, How We Do. <laughs> this is how we do. You make a movie like a fool <laughs> when we open the club. This is how we do. Nobody do it like we do it. So show us some love. Fresh like, oh, friends, man. Uh, mm, that's a good one, man. Yeah, man. Fifty Cent, please come back to the UK, even though you've done your last lap. <coughs> I'm crying, man. Was that his last ever? Yeah. Well, he's so called it the last lap. So mm. yeah. Oh. Mm. What a shame. Um, I'm gonna add Dave Streatham. One thing that you guys need to know about me, if you don't know already, is I love me some Dave. Does yeah. And the reason I love Dave so much is because he's so. Articulate and meticulous with his use of language, like his wordplay. His mm. yeah, it's incredible. Like it's so mm. sick. Anyway, Streatham from his album Psychodrama, which in my view is his best ever album. 
Um, from that same album, I'm gonna add Screwface Capital. And then I'm gonna add lastly, Love Me How by Potter Paper, which I love as well. And he had his first um headline show yesterday. Oh yeah, I saw snaps. Mm. Yes. Mm. Looks good. Got some UK rap for you guys there. Yeah, man. Yep. So guys, those are all the songs that we are adding to our song of the week playlist, which is like I said before, is available on Spotify, mm-hmm. Apple Music, and YouTube. All the links of these will be in the description box. Oh, so like I said in the last episode, this podcast is now doing new segments. What did I say? New segments. segments. Sorry, I don't think the people here are listening. What did I say? New New segments. segments. What did I say? New New segments. segments. Cool. So the first new segment of this episode Mm. is going to be called The Beauty Corner. What did I say? The Ah. Beauty Corner. (laughs) You people won't listen now. <laughs> when they now say they're sponsoring Beauty Corner, will you not be shouting Beauty Corner? Hey, Amen. <laughs> so which segment is this called? The Beauty, Beauty Corner. Corner. Oh, this guy is not there. <laughs> you are not Get off the stage. You're not sharp. Get off the stage. Get off the altar. Get off the altar. But yeah, yeah, this section is called The Beauty Corner. And this is where we discuss all things beauty, health, well-being mm. anything that makes us feel good and we're going to just be you know introducing anything that we think is good that we want to bring to the spotlight and i think sharon is the first person that's going to be talking on the beauty corner Yay! 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 um now i just wanted to say that this week i um obviously like i said at the start i'm preparing for marbella which Woo-hoo! we will be going to next week by God's grace. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, part of this holiday stuff as a lady, you have to be doing your beauty prep. Yes. And I haven't had laser for time. I always, I don't know if you guys are the same, but like, I always forget to do it. Not yeah. forget, but then I yeah. keep putting it off and I'm like, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And then yeah. I'll be like, I'm going on holiday and I haven't done it. Yeah. I hadn't done it in like almost a year. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't bothering me because the mm-hmm. hair wasn't growing very much. Mm. I had laser again on, I think it was Wednesday. My whole body. Mm-hmm. How I, long does that take? Because very clear. I know no, when I go for long. my laser and the lady is like, oh, um, I've got a full body laser. Mm. I think it's like an hour. Yeah. So I had already done my face the week before. Okay. So this one was just basically the rest of my body and it took, yeah, just over an hour. Wow. Yeah. So it's like, it's quite a long time, but... Mm. It's not that long. When you think about the fact that, like, I'm doing my whole, all my legs, my arms, like, mm. everything. I think it's because I only do, I also do laser, but I only do your face now, my face and my armpits now. Mm. Okay. Is I that what my, you do? Yeah. And then I did my chest. My chest was like, it was like two hairs. I was like, zap it. Mm. <laughs> I was like exactly. I get so, yeah. nervous about that now, you know. Why? Because I just feel like it might stimulate growth in other areas if they. Do it outside of the localized spot that has the mm. hair. Mm. Mm. I haven't had I haven't had any regrowth, any problems like that. So. But mm. Um, mm. but yeah, so no, no, that's what I want to talk about. Laser, I just love it. Honestly, Pulse mm. Light Clinic shout them out every single time. They're yeah. so good. Because the other thing as well with laser is that um, when I was researching like where to go, a yeah. lot of people were saying that there's certain lasers that don't work the best on dark skin. Yeah. Um, but Pulse Light. Yeah, I can definitely attest to that. They, they have mm. some good lasers. Now I'm feeling like just hairless, like a dolphin. Oh, child. Mm. Do you like how much has the growth reduced? Oh, significantly. Like mm. how, like before, how long were you, would you say shaving or waxing like between each time? Um, I can't really remember. But I probably should have been doing it. I wasn't doing it as often as I should. I probably yeah. should have been doing it like, once a month or once like every mm-hmm. three weeks or something mm-hmm. i have never like the growth that i had back then before i even started laser even after leaving it a year it's not it's, it, has, yeah. it can't get to that level yeah like, it's just it's just so good like mm. also i do like i said i do my arms and i know like a lot of like when i said that to like some of my friends they were like oh why are you doing your arms well, i don't know what it is about hair on my arms like mm. i just like it when it's just not there mm-hmm. <laughs> i don't think i'd ever do like Full full body like I, I my arms are fine. Mm. It's just like just certain areas. So if anyone doesn't know, I have PCOS, and one of the say symptoms of PCOS mm. is hertism, which is like growth of hair, but like in places that are not mm. 
like where women grow hair basically so like mm. my face like i said my chest mm. like or like where like my legs like obviously those women have like yeah. hair growth from their legs but mm. <laughs> the way the hair be growing mm. i've said this before i'll go to, into the shower i've shaved my leg by the time i've gotten ready i'm going out ha! prickly prickly mm. it's already prickly Mm. So laser has definitely helped me And I've started doing laser Like way before I even found out I had PCOS Because I remember um, When I went for Like you know when you're going for like a patch test Or whatever yeah. The lady that was doing mine um, She was like Do you have PCOS? And I was like what? What's that? What's that? Mm. Like I'd heard about it before But like I just didn't know What it was Like what it mm. was She was like Oh yeah I think you should go To your GP To get it checked mm. So then I did like My blood test and everything And then and I oh, wow. got my ovaries checked Like mm. did, like, I didn't a, know that's how you found out Yeah you do like a Like blood... I didn't know that That's what led you to I think no, Okay the... so I I did a blood test And then I think they said That something was imbalanced Or like mm. my hormones They, they checked my yeah. hormones mm. It was imbalanced So then I now got referred to a hospital and then I did like an ultrasound and then the one where they stick it up you was mm-hmm. yeah one of them mm-hmm. and then yeah they found like to do with my ovaries mm-hmm. so that's when I kind of knew I had that and I had like they started putting me on medication and all of that stuff but yeah mm-hmm. dealing with PCOS is ooh, it's, yeah, it's a lot mm-hmm. but um laser definitely helped me with that like that's good um I had I did have a lot of hair growth, especially like on my neck and my face. Like anyone that has PCOS or hertism will know, like, it's typically, let me speak for myself. Me as a woman, I don't want mm. hair on my neck or mm. my chin or my mm. face. Mm. But laser has like helped me tremendously. Like, even though like I still get growth and stuff, like, I'm like, Shara, like, I need to go back and mm. start a session again. Cause I even think with like black hair, it's not like like white hair where maybe they'll say you need or you only need six sessions when I think black hair is a lot more tougher and stuff. So mm. definitely need more than six. So I do need to go back. But it's kind of more like a top up than maybe yeah. more, more so like sessions between uh, uh, spanning across a year. Mm. But like I said, um, anyone that does have hertism will know that like it could be a bit embarrassing and all that stuff, ingrown hair. So... Mm. I would encourage anyone who has has it and wants to, you know, get rid of all the hair and stuff, do try I laser. Do it and it, I know it is expensive and it is seemed it is deemed as a luxury, but a lot of women are going through that. Like just like on TikTok, I see so many women mm, see with hurtism waxing their faces and things mm. like that. Like me personally, I don't want to see the like I don't have time for that. So I just chose the route of going mm. to laser, mm. which I have the privilege to do. But laser is quite expensive. So mm. it is something that I know is a privilege that not everybody can have. But yeah, I would say that laser definitely, mm. definitely helped me. Like I said before, this is a podcast of new segments. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. So now we're playing a game and this game is called how well do you know? Can the audience clap? How well do you know? Yes. Oh, gosh. Woo! I hope this isn't general knowledge. I failed already. So, in the room today, we have Beatrice and Sharon. And one thing about Beatrice and Sharon, what they're going to do is holiday. And one place that they love to go, that they'll be shouting from morning to night, oh, I'm going to Dubai, oh, DXB. Oh, up and down, I love Dubai. I'm moving here. Yeah. My, I'm raising my family here. Yeah. Everything is here. Yeah. So since they're so well versed about Dubai, I don't know anything. Of- <laughs> I've got all a I know, few. All I know is Beach Club and I mean, I've got a few questions for <laughs> them about Dubai. Seeing as they love it so much and they want to marry Dubai and everything's bad, but look at Sean Beach. So we have. Wait, let me get up my. Uh, oh gosh. I downloaded an app that is gonna keep score. Oh gosh. I don't so Beatrice is blue. Sharon is red. Mm. Currently we're at nil nil mm. Got that here So like I said This game is called How well do you know mm. There are 15 points up for grabs oh, Who God. is going to get the highest score Or mm. who's going to get a score at all Because <laughs> I doubt If you're it. listening Their faces are priceless I doubt it yeah. 
Cool. So the first question, mm. we're going to start off easy. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Dubai. Is this multiple choice, sorry? No. <laughs> Even worse. We're finished. No. We're fried. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-uh. Dubai is home of the tallest sky- skyscraper in the world. What is the name of this building? And if you guys are listening, Beatrice and Sharon have iPads in front of their faces. And is they it cannot are be the writing... first person to answer as well? Because we're no, 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 no. No, sorry, because I'm typing your writing. And they're going to be answering the questions on their iPad and then they're going to flip to me and then I'm going to see who got it right. <laughs> what did you? <laughs> right, Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa is the correct answer. Ooh. Woo! Ooh. One point for Sharon, one point for Beatrice. Nice. Question two. <laughs> this question is a, a two point. Two question. points. Okay. What is Dubai's population? Ah. And of this population, what what percent? Hey. What percentage are native UAE residents? Okay. So the first question: What is Dubai's population? Then the second question: Of this population, what is the percentage of native UAE residents? Hmm. I might have to start putting the timer. I actually have no idea. Just guess. Population of Dubai, not UAE, Dubai. Mm. And then percentage of UAE. Mm. All right, five, four, three, two, one, pens down. Bitches, what do you have? What's your answer? I Bitches said put three, three million, million, and what's the percent? Thirty-five percent. Sharon, what did you put? I put one point six million and thirty percent. Well, Beatrice gets one point because the population is actually three million. Thank you. Oh, that's good. And then the population, the percentage that are UAE residents is 15%. It's 15. lower. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. you know... So do I get a point? No, you're too, too, too far. No, no, no. exact. Sorry. Sorry, I got are it exact. Dead? Yeah, but I, that, I, got it, I got it exact. 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 I was just that. asking a question, <laughs> madam. <laughs> Next question. Cool. Wow, that's actually so low. That's how you... What, I 15, actually 15% was gonna, of 3 million? No, 15. 15. I actually was going to put I was gonna, 10. Yeah, I was going to go lower, but I thought maybe... I don't know. Yeah, no, do you know I what it is? It's because now. you know now they don't really give out um, yeah. UAE like nationality. You mm. just get like... Yeah. You don't, you don't get citizenship. You just get... But um, even still, um, Dubai has a, a very large expat community. Yeah. So I was even thinking like, maybe it is like... Uh, what did you say it was? 15. 15. I was going to even put 10, but then I just thought, nah, mm. it's too small. But anyway. Okay, cool. Question three. Mm. What days of the week... Are weekends in Dubai? Hmm. But since when though? Mm. What days of the week? As of this, as Today, of now. What are the days? What days of the week are weekends in Dubai? Hmm. You cover your answer or so your neighbor does not see your answer. Oh. Don't think she's looking still. <laughs> huh. I should know this. I don't know. Sharon has to go first. I've written an answer anyway. Okay, ah, Sharon. I see your answer. So that's I've already. I'm not gonna touch. Okay. Um, Friday and Saturday. I literally say Friday and Saturday as well. The answer is wrong because it's, it's Saturday, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Because they cancelled. Yeah, Friday. they changed it, but I wasn't it. sure. I, I knew said it. today. I knew it. I Trick know, question. but I know, but I was just like, oh, I know, but maybe, I know, but maybe Tammy's sauce is not up. To I know, this. but I know, but <laughs> next question. Yeah. What is the official language in Dubai? Ah, official language. What does official language actually mean? So, like the language of the con- of the country or the city. What is the official? <laughs> what I think is definitely wrong. <laughs> when you say, okay, 
Okay. For two answers. One answer. Ready? Beatrice. Sharon. I put Arabic as well. Beatrice put Arabic. Correct. Cool. Oh, we don't know. That's not that bad. We actually didn't know these places a little bit. You know what I mean? Bloody hope so, mate. We've been there like 12 times. Question five. In the Dubai Miracle Garden, how many flowers does it contain? Many flowers. Think of the Dubai. Individual types of flower. How many? Like type of flower. Is it 10 flowers or is it 15 flowers? How many flowers are in Are you understanding my question? What are you asking? Type of flower like, oh, we have roses here, lilies here, that's two. Or we have 10 roses there and 15 lilies, that's 25. As in one flower here, another flower there, another flower there. Not different types of flowers. Okay. How many flowers? How many flowers? She's, she's, She's confused you. Basically, she's asking like, would you say that rose is one type of flower? But if there's 50 roses, that means that there's 50 flowers. So which one is the answer? 50 flowers, 50 roses. Oh, okay. No, I was doing the other way. You were doing the other way. That's what I was asking. But that's fine. What's the other way? I don't understand. Just like, like types. types. No, not types. Yeah, How no, many she knows now, flowers? but she's saying that she was doing it that way before. How many flowers are mm-hmm. in the... Are in the Dubai many... Miracle Garden. Just think of Dubai. Think how extra it is. How many flowers? Can't give her any... Five, four, three, two, one. Beatrice, what's your answer? Beatrice put 100K. Sharon, what's your answer? I put 50K. Both wrong. 50 million flowers. I knew it was a million. million. I knew it wasn't a million. I told you to think about how much it's so much. It's so much. But I wasn't sure if it was a million. Is that 100K just the green uh, airport? It's true, man. (laughs) Sorry, man. I've actually never been there. Me neither. I've seen it though. Yeah, same. Have you? No, no, no. I've already seen it. Okay, cool. How, question six. How many shopping malls are there in Dubai? Ooh, we can't How do that. How many shopping malls? That's naughty. But what about um, Uncle down the road that has a shopping mall? Shopping mall. She didn't say market. I didn't right, say. Yeah, but he might have a little shops. shop. I oh, said sorry. mall. Mm. These people think that they're smart. Boy. I'm going to do what I know. Yes, I actually don't know what the answer is. I can't even lie. You know when I change it, it's going to piss me off. Okay, hold on. You guys ready? No, hold on. Cool. Yeah, Sharon, go first. Sharon, what's your answer? Three. Mitch, <laughs> what's your answer? Oh, wow. Yeah, we're definitely Four. wrong. What did you, what is it? There's 65 shopping malls. Name hey, them. What do you mean name malls? them? There's 65 shopping malls. Not just the ones that you've been to. I said no, shopping I know. Malls. No, I'm, I'm just trying to like think of the, the regions. That, like, yeah, I'm like, which ones were you thinking? I was thinking Emirates one, Deira, obviously yeah, Dubai Mall. Yeah. Then what's the fourth one? I don't know. There's one that's like near the Palmish. There's 65, Sha. Shopping yeah, malls. Near the Palmish. Hmm. <sighs> Need to see okay. those listed. Though. Question seven. Mm. Dubai summers can get very hot. What is the highest temperature Kai! that has ever been recorded in Celsius? I actually don't know this, but I'm gonna guess. These are good questions, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. Can we give a range? <laughs> okay, can you say like the closest to like let, let's say like two degree or whatever it is? Because okay, I'll let you have the point if you have it. One either side. So okay. one degree. Oh, plus or minus one. Yeah, okay. okay. Plus or minus one degree. One sec. We ready? One sec. So I feel like I've gone too low, but yeah. I think I've gone too low. Oh. Hmm. Sharon, what's your answer? Can go oh, versus... bitches, what's your answer? Say it. 46. Sharon, I what's your 52. answer? 52. Both wrong. 49. Oh. Degrees Celsius. Damn, damn. Just about. I knew that I, I hadn't got. I knew. First. I knew that I hadn't gone over fifty. No, I knew it hadn't gone over. 50. I um. Yeah, no, no, 50. I put fifty first. Damn it. Damn. Did you say it was fifty one? Forty nine. Oh, sorry, forty nine. And a gut bad. Question eight: The Burj Al Arab is described as what? 
When you think of Birch Out Arab, what do you think of? Like, as in what it's called, like what people refer it to, mm-hmm. refer it as. Oh, crap. Very monumental building. No, I know it. Yeah, but we I'm know it, but I'm trying to think, think about, about what people call it. When you think of that, Arab. what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Atkins. Because <laughs> they designed it. The first thing that comes to my mind is like the birch out arab. arab. Is it a saying or when people say the birch out arab, the next thing that they say after it, what do they say it is? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> this is gonna really annoy me because I have um it's literally escaped my mind. I don't even feel like it escaped my mind. I feel like I've never, I just don't know it. Okay, five. Just write something. Four, three, two, one. Let me give you guys a bit more time. Let me say the question again. Okay. The Burj Al Arab is best described as what? <laughs> okay, five, four, three, two, one. Sharon, what's your answer? The Burge. Bitch, what's your answer? I was going to say the heart of something. What is it? Guys, do not. I, if I see you step foot in, that's not. Bye. What is it? Seven Star Hotel. Oh, sorry. Is that what oh. you meant? Yes. Oh, sorry. sorry, I didn't. No, no, I wasn't even thinking it, about no, that. Yeah. I said the Burj Al Arab. Yeah, you should say what is that best known for? What or something? Yeah. Best described as what? I was because, even thinking because, about the because curvature you, of the of the building. No, no, no. Do you know why? It's because no place can actually get seven stars. Mm. But it was described. Oh. It was it, someone had someone in the UK, like mm. the UK press or whatever, mm. described it as seven stars. That's that's how good it is. Mm. Mm. That, but that's what it's known for, being seven stars. No, I knew that, but I didn't know. I don't know. I just didn't think why yeah, you phrased it. But care enough, we got okay. it wrong. We got it wrong. Okay, question nine. We're nearly at the end. Got mm. two questions left. How many hotels slash resorts are located? This is a two-part question. How many hotels and resorts are located on the Palm Jumeirah? For a bonus point, give me one name of a hotel on the Palm. What's the one that we stayed in? Come on now. There's so many. Yep. So you have to think about how oh. many there are and then give me an example of one. <laughs> one sec. Don't make any noise. One sec, Tavi. <laughs> I need to think about something. What's the first question? How, how many? many? How many hotels slash resorts are they located on the Palm Jumeirah? For a bonus point, give me one name of a hotel. I haven't got the exact number, but yeah. Mm. I'll give you one either or, kind one. of like ah. this. Okay, okay. let me give you two either or. Thank you. So up or low? Mm-hmm. Mm. Beatrice, what do you have? Have you got an answer written down? Yeah. Oh. So I've put the hotel, the Waldorf Astoria, Palm uh-huh. Jumeirah, and I put 40. Sharon, what do you have? I put 70 and I put the Burj Al Arab. Is that on the pod? I can't remember. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is 26. Oh. But do I get um, my yeah, point? Yeah, you get a Thank point you. for. The Burj Al Arab. I don't think that's on the Palm. Is no. it by the marina? Where is it? Um, it's, it's not on the palm. No, it's the what's the um the piss me off downtown. It's not downtown. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's, it's by the water. It's not. It's by the water. Isn't Hold it on. on one of the palm? Yeah, but I don't know if it's Palm Jumeirah. I need to search. I could be wrong, Chair. It's us all searching now. It could be because the reason I remember it is because of where we went where we jet, went skiing. jet skiing. Yeah. No, it's on oh, the Jumeirah Beach. That's what I knew. Yeah, it's not the it palm. It wasn't yeah. on the palm. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
Last question. Mm. A very big hotel on the Palm Jumeirah opened last year. Oh. What was the name of this hotel? That's the first part of the question. Done. Oh my gosh, I had dinner there. She knows it. Next one. At this said opening of this hotel, there was a special guest who performed. Who was it? Can you hold on? <laughs> have we even... Have we even... I want to lock in my answer because I got his right. But you have to give me the full name. Of what? The hotel. <sighs> Come on. Because, yeah. Uh... You can't just give me the first bit. You have to okay, give me the I whole thing. the name of the... I know it has. Can I phone my Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Can I check my last post? Oh my god, now it's gonna piss me off. I'm getting my head. The full name. I don't want any first name or I anything. Can't remember, it is one. Okay, of them. five. Hold on, wait. Let me write, let me go back to writing the other things. So at least I can get some point. But hold on. Hold on. I'll give you a clue. There's two of these. Yeah, we yeah, can. I know, I know, I know. But the, what's the full I know that name? One. I just can't remember. This podcast needs to come to an end. So five, four, three, two, one. Sharon, what's your answer? I can't remember the full name of the hotel, but something like Lantisha. And then the artist was Beyonce. I don't know the name. I said Atlantis, the only, the the what, the, the only, one, only. the one, and something. <laughs> Atlantis, the only. Let me actually check my Instagram. And, and then, then Beyonce, Beyonce. The answer is Atlantis, the Royale, yes. the Royale. That's what I knew. Atlantis, the Royale. You both got a point for Beyonce. Okay. Oh, this is very, very shocking. Oh. The Dubai connoisseurs <laughs> flying in, flying out. <laughs> High flyer, skyscrapers. Emirates, em, Emirates, Emirates ambassador. member. Emirates ah. ambassador. They know them by name at the desk. Ah. Yes, so I want you. Sharon. No. Three <laughs> out of 15. Hey! No but, GCSE. No, no A level. No, 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 I will end up in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> but the winner of today's game. Of how well do you know is Beatrice with Ooh. five points out of 15. <laughs> Doesn't matter, baby. You always win on the top. What was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah, but I got three out of 15, but I still got a whole itinerary share. I still got a whole oh, itinerary. Oh, yeah, she does. She does. Link Imagine it. I, have I sent it to you? No. She hasn't. Oh, my is itinerary. it still relevant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In I terms of like, the dates. Date. Date, not the dates for like flights and stuff. No, the days like, of like when... Event. No, the one where you obviously you know like certain beach clubs give you certain access for. Oh yeah, no, I haven't updated all of that as of like this year. Mm-hmm. But I had to update it a little bit when I got back because um I too was asking for it. Well, mm. my mate was asking for it, but mm. yeah. Anyway, Sha. So obviously, I don't really know much about um where things are. My geography is off anyway. Mm, <laughs> yeah, I barely, I barely know where I live. Yeah, literally. Um, but yeah, that was a good game. Yeah, thank good you for that. Right. Yeah, that was fun. The game was a surprise. I didn't tell them what was going on, but that was the game of how well do you know? And yes. I have been your game master, Tammy Montero, <laughs> on all platforms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but yeah, that is the final thing on today's episode we hope you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure you are subscribed yep. to our youtube channel we are almost at seventy thousand subscribers we might have already hit it i don't know maybe with this video alone you just back to 70k mm-hmm. thank you congratulations to us mm-hmm. but make sure like i said subscribe to our youtube channel but also make sure you have got that notification bell turned on so anything we post about whether it's in communities or a brand new episode or shorts you know about it because we've posted it. And make sure you are following us across all of our social media platforms. That is Snapchat. That is TikTok. That is Twitter slash X. And that is also Instagram. Make sure you are following us on all those platforms and all of the links to those will be below. Like I, below, like I said before, <laughs> if you are listening on Spotify, mm-hmm. if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, make sure you are giving us a what? Five star rating. 
for people that were winning game, they didn't sound too, <laughs> too op- optimistic. I'm but yeah, make sure you're leaving us a five star review. Not four, three, two, one, but five stars. And also, if you are on Spotify, please make sure you are answering the poll. Mm. Ha, please, the, spot, the Spotify poll is low. But the numbers are high. Mm. So please, let's get that round up. Thank you. We mm. like a nice round number. Three yeah. digits. That's what we like. And also, lastly, I know you guys are tired of hearing my voice. Lastly, mm. please Natural. make sure you are answering the question on Spotify. What did you think about this episode? Mm. This is not just for singing our praises, but it's also to give us feedback. Mm. We take feedback very, very Seriously, here at Uncut. Seriously, here at mm. Uncut Podcast. So make sure you're leaving us a review. What did you like? What didn't you like? Any mm. improvements? Any topics that you want us to discuss? Anything like that? Make sure you have uh, written that in the box. And another thing, if you want to send us a dilemma, please use the email that is in our description box. Please email us, email us your dilemmas so we can answer them. But, make, but please, if you're on Patreon, please remember that those people on Patreon they get early access and we will read out your dilemmas before we read out the general pop. Yeah. But I think that's everything. Anything yeah, else you want to Yeah, man, guys. Remember to catch us at the live show, guys. Yes. That tickets are out now um, for our Patreon people yes. and they'll be out on Wednesday of this week um, for the rest of you guys. We're looking forward to seeing you guys in London in the... Islington Assembly Hall. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, and that's on the 21st of May yeah, at 7 p.m. We can't wait to see you guys. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hope you've enjoyed been enjoying the rebrand. Let us know how you're yeah, finding man. everything. And we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.